In this video, we are going to discuss about Cisco Internetwork Operating System. So what is Cisco IOS? Cisco IOS, which is different from Apple IOS, is a proprietary used by Cisco for controlling all functions of Cisco routers and mostly all the switches. We can see the COS is, is based on the operating system created by Williams Eger at Stanford University between 1980s and 1986. So, Cisco licensed Eger's work and created IOS out of it. So, some important items that Cisco routers IOS is responsible for the activities are like carrying network protocols and functions throughout the switch in the network and connecting high speed traffic between the devices and also adding security to control access and stop unauthorized network usage also provides scalability for ease of the network growth and the last one is supplying network reliability for connecting the network to the network resources. So, these are the responsibilities of the Cisco IOS. So, coming to the Cisco IOS provides you the command line interface for troubleshooting, configuration, management and monitoring here. So, coming to CLI can be accessed through the console port, the auxiliary port, the telnet and SSH. Telnet or SSH access can be provided with the IP connectivity. Hence, the initial configuration like it access devices using the console port. So, by using console port, they can access the device for troubleshooting, monitoring and also for configuration of the device. So, coming to how the CLI of Cisco or switch works here is to get the CLI of Cisco router or switch you need to connect to PC to the console port. So, how the console port we log in into? We have a serial port connector. So, the serial port connector is connected to the serial connector of the PC and the other end the RJ45 port will be connected to the console port. Through this we tell net and after physical connection you need to use a software known as terminal emulator or hyper terminal. So, hyper terminal is an example of terminal emulator. So, this is how it works launch your terminal emulator and configure it to connect to the serial interface using the following settings. So, these are the settings used here about the COM1 properties here. So, you put 9600 bits per second, 8 data bits, parity none, one stop bit and no flow control and these are the properties of the console port here. So, by using this hyper terminal we connect to the console port and we monitor, we configure and we also troubleshoot about the switches. So, this is all about the IOS of the Cisco.